Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jordan James TT here, or JJ's TT for short, and welcome back to the channel and another video. Um, so following the last one, I'm going to be doing another tutorial today, and this one is going to be uh, how to replace the gear stick gator in your Mark 1 Audi TT. Um, I apologise I didn't get to upload a video uh, last week. Uh, there was just a lot of stuff going on um, with all this, you know, coronavirus pandemic and all this, and... Um, working from home and whatnot, I'd only just been told to work from home last week, so there was a lot of change going on. I just didn't really sort of have time or uh, I couldn't really focus sort of too much on getting a video out. There was just so much going on. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm back now, so let's get into the uh, into the video. But basically the gator part is this little rubber piece around, uh, around here, as you can see. Um, now... For some reason in Mark 1 TTs, they're notorious for getting rips for some reason inside the actual rubber, like sort of in the underpieces there. I don't quite know why this happens, um, but apparently a lot of people have had it, and also I had it as well, which was the reason why I had to replace it. The first thing you have to do is we're obviously going to take the little knob off the top here. Now, the way to do this is you'll see this little silver stalk underneath here. So what you've got to do is you've got to sort of pull down. It should sort of just click away from it. Um, it might already have clicked away, actually. But uh, So once that's done, all you've then got to do is you then have to twist the gear knob um, to the left. So it's left, you can't left, you lose right, right, so you twist it to the left. Right, just keep twisting. Now what should happen is it should unscrew. And there we go. So now that that's done, it should just lift straight out with this little plastic uh, cover on it. So we're just going to leave that to the side. Uh, so then, as you can see, now we're just left with this part and the rubber gator. So the next part is you'll notice that there's some screws that go all the way around this ring. Now, what we need for this is... So yeah, there we go. As you can see, it says it needs to be a T20 torx head so all you basically have to do is uh same again kind of like with the way we've done the uh the gear knob at the top all you got to do is just do the lefty tighty uh le lefty loosey righty tighty so just twist to the left i ain't robbed that you kind of raise me i don't chase women they chase me before you pull the rug from under my feet i was flawless even in hd till i took you for a spin and you drove me crazy You've got all the screws out basically all you should be able to do is you should just be able to lift the ring straight off and out we're just going to leave that on the side of the seat and now what you'll be able to do is you'll then just be able to grab the gear stick by the stalk and the gator part should just come off with it um, the next part we need to do to obviously if you guys are going to be obviously replacing it is you guys have got to get this um, the actual gator off of the stalk now the way to do this uh it's a bit tricky trying to do it one-handed but i'll try my best is you've got to just try and sort of pull this part out so sort of like pull it upwards and pull the gator away from it um so i can't show you that because it is going to be quite tricky to do it one-handed um because the rubber sticks to it quite well um so what i'll do is i'll pause the video and i'll come back in a second there we go so once that's done uh obviously just in case it may have fell off just make sure that this plastic bit is inserted back into the bottom um of the of the stalk so then once that's done all you've got to do with the new gator is basically just do the opposite so basically just get the stalk put it in the top and then just shove it down until um, the black bit on the top on this ring is past the black line here and then you uh, and then you should be good to go so I'll do that uh, away from the camera so uh, just bear with me a second and there you go so once that's now back in and you can see obviously the plastic bit has come through uh, on the bottom you now we now just need to place that on top of the um, the gear section so obviously make sure it's in neutral just so it sits flat um, 
Now what you need to do is you'll notice that on the top left here going towards the little tray underneath there you'll notice there's like a little uh, pin that sort of sticks up like that, plastic pin, and then you've got the two screw holes besides it and you'll notice that on the gear stick ring there is one section that has three holes really in close proximity to each other this is where you'll need to line that center one up with that so if you then just slide the stem onto the uh onto the stalk and just make sure that little uh hang on, i've got it the wrong way yeah that's it so make sure that that then is in line with that and then just make sure as well that all the other screw holes line up properly because you don't want to try and start screwing into it and then uh, you find out that they're not in line or anything. So once that's done, uh, all you need to do is then obviously get the ring, check for where the, uh, again, where you've got the two screw holes and then you've got the one big hole in the middle because that's going to go over where this little pin is there. So make sure uh, that is in line. So I'm just going to double check that again. Is a little bit fiddly because sometimes when you're doing it you can move the gator just ever so slightly so that the screw holes aren't lined up properly anymore so it is really quite um, fiddly if it doesn't go on straight away but yeah that should be on now uh, I would say so that's fine uh, so yeah then now the next part is to literally just do the um, the screws again so the best place for the screws i'd say is in the little tray there so once that's done just start um screwing them in now to get an even screw to make sure that some of them don't come misaligned i would say to do them in a diagonal so say do top bottom left right diagonal 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 like that just to make sure that they don't all sort of move out of place while you're doing it so Lay down, love me, don't you And there we go, so that's all the screws back in, just give it a little wiggle just to make sure that it's tight. But then also now, if you just try and simulate the gear shifts, uh, it should just all move nice and freely uh, without sort of any of them popping loose or anything. So as long as you can see that it's keeping hold and not moving, then that is done successfully. So then the last part is the really simple bit. Obviously, we can't drive it without the gear knob on because that will just look gross. Um, so, yeah, we're going to put the gear knob on now. So, it doesn't matter sort of which way you put it on as such because when you tighten it, it should just go back in the way it came. So, if you that, so then what you've got to do is once you put the knob on, you've then got to lift this plastic bit up. And what should happen, I've already done it, you should hear it do like a little click. If you, Just to say that it's connected into the... Uh, the gear knob and then all you do is just twist to the right and there we go so now um that is near enough fully tightened fully tightened is over that way but it's still pretty tight um obviously straightforward anyway and that's not quite level but there we go that's level um so yeah that's basically it for the video um as i say it's a bit of a fiddly one not gonna lie but it's definitely a very re rewarding one once you have done it um so yeah i'll switch over to the other camera yeah guys um that is all for the uh for the video today i hope you guys have enjoyed it and i hope you found it helpful i'm not too sure what the next video is going to be uh i'll have to have a think about it and then i'll uh, and then i'll get back to you guys on it um, but yeah, as always, if you, uh, if you like the video, you know, leave a like, comment, you know, do what, do whatever basically. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time and, uh, you know, stay as, as a warning, you know, stay safe, um, you know, stay at home, all this with the coronavirus and stuff, which I'm sure you're all doing. Um, but yeah, stay safe out there and, uh, yeah, take care. So goodbye.